everyone. Welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, it is rainy and gross outside, so I figured I would take a little bit of time and diamond paint so I don't look outside. But anyway, um, I am working on Cat Crazy Chloe by Sheena Pike. And this is from Craftably. And as you all know, um, here's the plug. I'm an affiliate with Craftably, so if you're interested in this diamond painting, um, I looked yesterday and I saw it on the website, so it might still be available. Um, I haven't checked it today, um, so anyway, I'll have the link down below for that. But today, I am using um, Old Greg. Love this little pen. This is the first time I've gotten a mini pen from Stephanie with Patriotic Team, and I really like the little pen. I feel like I have more control over the little pen. Now, I've also been trying out this pretty placer. I ordered this probably a month ago. Um, there was only one left. It was a raspberry uh, lemonade. So I've been trying this. I want to know down in the comments below, let me know what, you know, you guys think um, about pretty placers. If you use them, I'm finding it hard to, like if you pick one up, they pick up fine, but I'm having a hard time. Like if I want to move it, if I want to move it, you can't use this to move it. I have to put that down, pick up old Greg, and move it to where I want it. So I find that that's taking a lot of time. Um, so, yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm trying it. I can see these being good for AB drills, larger drills. The other thing I've noticed is as you use it, um, if you see, it's like a crayon, right? And the tip, it was a sharp point or sharper, and now it's gotten kind of flat, which I don't know. I feel like it's it's just harder to put the the drill down where you want it to go. Um, yeah, see, like that one, I need to move. So anyway, any tips or tricks for using Pretty Placer? Let me know. Um, that would be great. Uh, it smells fabulous. It's raspberry lemonade. It smells great. Um, yeah, so I'm trying it. I'm, I'm always open to trying new things. Um, today I'm using my, uh, peaches and cream, uh, tester Wee Wax. Uh, Wee Wax is, um, doing well. It's just, it's hard for me to try and find, you know, scents that work. Like, for example, I was going to do... For November 13th, I was going to do a um, black cherries and vanilla scent, and I tested it. It smelled okay, and then my husband was like, it smells a little off. Um, do another test. So I did another test. He's like, yeah, there's just something about it that doesn't smell right. And he was right. It was like a, a chemical, like a fake smell. Which I'm not, I'm not going to put that out there for y'all. So, um, I'm not using that. So I had to ditch that tester batch and, um, I went with the runner up, my Patreons, um, they get to choose, um, here and there. I mean, I'm doing a poll every month to see what they like. Um, but for the most part, my Patreons get to choose the scent for the week. Um, it's a perk for being a Patreon. Uh, yeah, so the runner up to the black cherry and vanilla was the sugared lemon, which smells amazing. I made a wax tart out of it and I've had it burning in the house, um, like the last three days. And my husband is just like, this one's a keeper. It's, he said it smells like lemon icing, um, <clears throat> which who doesn't like lemon icing, right? Uh, yeah, so, okay, I think I went over, yeah, We Wax, Pretty Placer, Old Greg, um, yeah, super, super excited, um, I've had the house back to myself again, my husband did get back to work last week, and at first I was really nervous, um, but we have a routine, so he actually, uh, let's back up a little bit, he has an actual office, um, at his place where he works. So he has a corner office 
So he can kind of shut himself off from other people. He said they're taking people's temperatures. Um, you know, they've got like a, a head scanner thing that they can um, take your temperature and uh, they've got that. They've got hand sanitizer everywhere. Um, everybody's wearing masks when they come out of their office or if they're walking around. So they are trying to be really careful about it. So that's good. And what our routine is, is when he comes home, he calls me on his way home and, you know, tells me how far out he is, which is, it usually takes him about 20 minutes to get home. And I, I get a change of clothes for him, put it in the bathroom. Um, he comes into our garage, opens, um, our laundry room is right off the garage. So he comes in through the garage and he totally strips down, takes everything off, throws it in the washer, walks straight back to the shower and takes a shower. And I have everything out so he doesn't have to touch anything. Um, like shower door open, all that stuff. Um, so he doesn't have to touch anything. So he takes a shower as soon as he comes home and all of his clothes get washed every night. Um, and so far it's, it's been working fine. Um, I, of course I have all these, uh, hand wipes, you know, antibacterial hand wipes. I wipe, you know, the doorknobs after he comes in and I am being overly careful about it, but at the same time, it's just, I have to be, I feel like I have to be. So, uh, yeah. And it's been working out good, but y'all, y'all, I'm so happy. I have my days back where it's just me and the cats. Do you see the cats behind me? They're asleep. Now, when he's here, usually they want to run around and play and all of that. But the last like week, they pretty much will come in here with me when I'm in here and just sleep in their bed. It's amazing. I've actually had some time to myself. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I still have all of my daily stuff I have to do. So, my routine is when I get up in the morning, of course, you know, take care of the cats, feed them, clean their box, um, take care of the dogs, feed them, let them out, and um, probably do, you know, laundry. I usually do laundry every day, whether it be towels, bedding, you know, dog bedding, cat bedding, you know. I'm usually doing laundry every day, and then, of course, you know, Adam, when he comes home, we do his clothes that he's worn for the day. Um... I figure out what I'm making for dinner, make sure that gets out and gets put on the counter to defrost. And then um, I try to clean something each day. So whether it be a vacuum, a dust, um, clean toilets, uh, wipe down the kitchen, you know, I always want to try and clean one thing per day. And that's just, that makes me feel like I'm being productive. So there, there's that. How many, how many of you do that where you try to clean something each day? That way it spaces it out and you're not doing it all at once and it takes you like all day to do it. Um, cause our house is, is pretty large. So, um, you know, I have one, two, three, I have four bathrooms to clean. Um, you know, uh, one, two, three four bedrooms to clean. I have to count. Sorry. <laughs> um, you know, it's just, it can get overwhelming if you do it like all at the same time, but, um, I try to space it out. So yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Um, and then normally I'll either, you know, a couple days a week I'll test wax batches and scents. Um, so usually I do that on like, uh, Sundays, Mondays, Tuesday. And then once I find the scent that I like from the test batch, um, I'll either go ahead and make it on Tuesday or I'll make it on Wednesday. And that way it gives it a couple of days to, um, cure. So with this wax and these scents, it usually takes anywhere from 24 to 48 hours for it to cure, which means you'll get your best scent um, after that time frame, So, um, yeah, 
That's why I always try to do it ahead of time to make sure that the scent is good. So yes, but the lemon smells amazing. Um, I really like it. And I just ordered a bunch more scents, some holiday scents. Um, I ordered a really strange scent and um, my friend Stephanie with Patriotic Team, she had asked me if I made a leather scent. Well, the leather scent that I, I did order a leather scent and I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. So I just, honestly, I chucked it. Um, and you can order, you know, one ounce samples of these scents. And that's what I do. I order a sample and if I like it, then I'll order a bigger size. Um, but I found one and I ordered it today. It's called leather. What is it called? Leather and balsam. So it's like a leather and pine. Uh, so we're going to try that and see. I've got a bunch of food scents coming. So I ordered like, I've had some feedback from people as far as, you know, what they would like for my Patreons. Um, I've ordered some food scents, uh, like banana pudding, cinnamon buns. Um, I ordered grape. I've had a couple of people ask me for grape actually. So I ordered a grape scent. We'll see how that smells. Um, I did. I ordered some um, holiday scents. Um, what else did I order? Oh, I ordered a, a really unique one and it got really good reviews. So we're going to try it. It's called Apple Maple Bourbon. Apple Maple Bourbon. Um, I'm not a bourbon person, but um, from what I've read and, and researched, this is like a really popular scent. So we're going to try that. They said it's a really good fall scent. So that might be soon on the list. So yeah. Oh, and I got to do a poll. My Patreons get a couple of tins of Wee Wax um, throughout the year. So I got to do a poll and ask them what scent they want. I keep forgetting to do that. So yeah, Wee Wax is, is definitely um, interesting. It's been a overwhelmingly fast learning curve. I'm going to tell you that. Um, I've had to, to learn quickly uh, measurements for wax and scent and, you know, packaging and y'all. There are so many different types of ways to package things like, you know, the, the bubble envelopes, the poly bubble envelopes. Yeah. So of course I'm looking for those in bulk because I send out, you know, bulk orders every week. So I want to, you know, get the best price that I can on envelopes. Um, <laughs> so I ordered a set that I thought was really cool because it was like a kind of like a pale orange color. I was like, that's going to match really well with the rose gold color of the tin. Y'all, these envelopes. I put two together and I was like, why do these just feel not right? Well, they're just, they're cheaper. So they're not made as well. Um, so anyway, so that was a waste of, you know, 50 envelopes, but that's okay. I learned my lesson on that one. So, um, I'm going to keep buying the nicer envelopes that are more expensive because that way I know the package is protected and I don't have to worry about, you know, the tin getting dented or anything like that. Um, the other thing I'm having an issue with, and if any of you all know about this and are Etsy shop owners, please let me know in the comments below. When I put my listing up for the wax, if anybody buys more than one, it puts it as two separate orders. So then it prints on the order, it prints two separate shipping labels. So then I have to go in and delete one label, create another label and manually put in how much two tins weigh and then refund the, the customer, the difference between combining the two orders into one order for shipping. And it's, pretty tedious to have to go in and, and refund anybody that wants more than one tin of wee wax, you know, as a gift or what have you. Um, so if anybody knows how to avoid that, um, let me know. I've, I've Googled it and I just, everything I've seen for Etsy says you just have to refund the customer, the ex excess shipping, which I think is absolutely absurd and it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that way. Um, I don't know. Maybe, 
maybe that's just me being me, but I think that's, you know, silly. Not just for me, but for, you know, for you all trying to buy it. Because um, I do want to eventually put more more scents up in the shop more than, you know, just one at a time. It's just, I'm just one person. So making one batch takes, takes a while. And then, um, you know, packaging all of them and it's, it's a process. I'm, I'm still having fun with it. Now the day I stop having fun with it is the day that I'm not going to have wee wax anymore in the shop that, that I just won't have a shop. Um, and I'll just have, you know, I'll make wee wax for, you know, friends and family and as gifts and stuff or giveaways on my channel. Um, but right now it's still, it's still manageable. Uh, my mom has offered to help me with shipping because shipping, <laughs> shipping is interesting. And those of you that have Etsy shops know what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, I wait, I, maybe I'm doing this the wrong way, but because I sell out of my scents quickly. Um, I just wait until all of my orders, you know, until I'm sold out. And then I go ahead and get all my labels and, um, you know, I, I purchase the labels and print those and, and then I go ahead and put everything together. I'll usually sit and watch Mrs. Coffee on Friday nights and, and put all my orders together. Um, that's usually what I do. This past Friday, I missed her, um, live. I just, I just wasn't feeling well and I just wasn't in the mood, you know, and I had already put everything, um, together throughout the day cause I sold out by like four o'clock. So I just went ahead and put everything together. Um, yeah. So what else has been going on? The cats? Yeah. The cats are actually, they're doing Okay, um, they're still keeping me up quite a bit at night. Um, for some reason, Skylar is getting very aggressive, is the word I'm talking about, with Zoe uh, at night, like playing rough. And I think it's because Zoe keeps taking her little furry mice that she loves so much and hiding them from her. Um, and she's getting mad about it. That's what I think is happening. But um, they do. They roughhouse quite a bit at night. And you'll hear them thumping and throwing each other up against walls. And it, it's it's crazy. I mean, and I'm talking like 2, 3 a.m. So I need to say, I don't get a whole lot of sleep because of these two little numb nuts over here. But I say that. But I love them dearly. They're, they are such such fun to have around and they've developed their own little personalities. Um, I did a little Patreon video uh, a couple days ago just to show how much they've grown and so they could see, see how, how cute they are. Yeah. Um, they've got their moments. Like sometimes they want to be snuggly and sometimes they just want you to leave them alone. They don't want you to pet them or anything. So, um, yeah. But other than that, um, things have been pretty sane here. Um, I've been helping my dad with some of his, um, business marketing. Um, he's reached out to me and asked me to help him a little bit with some email marketing and stuff. So I've been helping him do that. And I've just been, I've been really busy. I just, I don't really have time to diamond paint unless I actually say, okay, I'm going to sit down and I'm just going to take an hour for myself. Then it just doesn't happen. That's, that's just how it is. It just doesn't happen. So yes, yes, yes. So what is everyone working on? I don't know if I asked that, um, I am trying to get this diamond painting finished because I was going to start one of my um, mystical diamond art uh, diamond paintings, but but that all changed because, um, and I can't tell you what, but um, I will be starting a new diamond painting um, as soon as this one is done. And it will be a brand new one from Craftably. 
and I can't wait to share that news with you all once once I can. It's so exciting. Um, I literally squealed like a little girl when I found out um, what was happening. Um, so yeah, we've a bunch of us have had to keep it under wraps and not say anything, and it's just it's been killing me, y'all, killing me, killing me, because this is just amazing amazing oh yeah so y'all will be very very happy so anyway my plans changed on that so I will be working on probably another craftably diamond painting uh, when this one is finished and then I will be working on a mystical diamond art um, diamond painting um, I really like the um, gosh what is the name of that guy it's John Oh, uh, hold on. I'll tell you in a minute. Um, I will tell you one moment. Uh, Andy Russell. I'm sorry. Andy Russell. I've got two new ones coming for Mystical Diamond Art for Andy Russell is uh, Del Sol and then Daffodils. I love his artwork. Um, if you all haven't seen his artwork, go check out. Uh, mystical diamond art uh, she has licensed him um, to provide his artwork to be made into diamond paintings and it is wonderful they are landscape type diamond paintings but with a modern like a modern flair to them um, really love love his work so uh, I am excited to hopefully start working on that um, I'm hoping the goal is for January, January, and I need to make a list of diamond paintings um, that I'm going to work on next year. I'm going to choose 12 diamond paintings, hopefully to get one done per month. Um, but the way it's going now, I don't, I don't know if that's going to be feasible, just with everything I've got going on with the wee wax and stuff. But we will see. We will see. We will see. So, um, let's see, what else, what else can we talk about? Talked about the kitties, they're actually being good right now. Oh yeah, so let's talk about my puppy. Okay, so Blue, Blue is my 12, almost 13 year old rat terrier. And he is definitely my baby. Um, I've had him since he was a puppy. And recently he is, you know, starting to show his age and he's gotten really finicky about what he eats. He has a very sensitive stomach, so I have to buy him very expensive wet food. He can't, um, he can't eat dry food anymore. His teeth are really bad. Um, so I have to give him wet food and I get him, um, it's called Waruva. Waruva, I think that's right. It's it's called Lamborghini. <laughs> it's lamb and pumpkin. Um, it's a grain free food, and he really likes it. Um, so yeah, I get him that uh, from Chewy. I'm on a you know auto ship from Chewy for his food, for the cat's food, for the cat litter. Um, but anyway, so his stomach was upset last week. And you could tell it was upset because, I mean, you could hear, like, his tummy was, like, all gurgly and grumbly. And every time he went to the bathroom, it just, it wasn't, it wasn't right. Um, so I gave him some pumpkin. And this has worked for him before. I gave him some pumpkin, like, 100% pure pumpkin <clears throat> out of the can. That actually works to help digestive issues. Well... I don't know if it's because he already had problems, but the pumpkin intensified that apparently. And one night last week, and this dog has never, ever, 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 in the almost 13 years I've had him, ever gone to the bathroom in my house. Ever. Um, if he needs to go, he will come up to me or come up to Adam, and you, you know the look. I gotta go. He'll do his little dance. Um, or he'll do a little wine if we're not in the same room with him. And that way, you know, he needs to go out. Same with Bella. Bella does the same thing. 
um, well, I was in my office and Adam was um, on the computer. We either didn't hear him or he didn't let us know. But y'all, he had total, total spurts all over my front door area rug. Um, I felt so bad for him. It was, oh, the look he gave me. I wasn't upset. I wasn't mad. I, you can't be mad at that when your animal doesn't feel good. Um, I was, I felt so bad for him. So I put him outside and I made him some chicken broth with rice and he's doing much better. But the point of the story is, um, I tried to clean the rug and it just wasn't cleanable. Um, it, it was so bad. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. And I wasn't going to steam clean. We have a steam cleaner, but I wasn't going to steam clean a rug I've had for six years. And I think we got it from Home Depot when we moved in. I think it was like 50 bucks. I was like, you know what? It's, we're going to toss it. I'm going to get a new one. It's all good. Um, my house is just very echoey up in the front area because we have high ceilings and I don't have any rug in there to muffle the sound. But um, the cats have missed the rug because they would take their toys and play on the rug with it. So they've just been kind of laying out in the front area on the wood like, where's our rug? <laughs> but yeah, so I have a new rug coming. Um, Hopefully it'll be here. I think they said it'll be here early part of next week. I got it off Amazon. It was a six by nine, real pretty rug. And I think it was only like 80 bucks and it was really pretty. It got good reviews. So I was like, okay, if you'll ship it to me, well, all I got to do is drag it in the front door and, you know, put a mattress, a uh, mattress pad, listen to me, put a pad down and there you go. Um, I'm okay with that. So we shall see. I'll let y'all know how that turns out. I'll probably take pictures of it and put it on the Instagram. So yeah. But I am almost done with with this. Um, let's see if I can show you. Do I have it already zoomed in? I don't. Okay. Let's see. Um, I'll pull it up some so you can see. So all I have left is I have one, two, three more parchment squares and then up top here are like, I had to cut parchment squares. They're like, you know, they're like that wide. So I don't really have a whole lot left, which is good. Um, I'm hoping to have this done. I don't know. I, I might be able to finish it by the weekend if I can, you know, get all my stuff done. So Yes, but yeah, let me know in the comments below any certain scents uh, for Wee Wax that you would be interested in. Um, I'm not saying I'm definitely going to do that scent, but I can definitely research it and see. Um, a lot of people have chosen uh, food scents, um, and I did order, I had someone, I can't remember, request a lavender scent, um, so I've ordered a lavender and honey so that should be in here, uh, hopefully the beginning of next week. Um, so yeah, if there are any scents that you're um, interested in, put them down in the comments below and I will research and see. Uh, yeah, but that's pretty much, I think, all I have to talk about today. Just wanted to do a quick whip and chat. I'm going to finish this square and go probably go start making dinner and stuff um yeah yeah I'm, I'm excited though this is this has been working up really nicely it, it took me a little bit to get used to these are the normal size round drills and i just finished um before i started this one i just finished time escapes us by lizzie falcon and that one was with Treasure Studios Art, and the round drills are smaller. So this one took a little bit of adjusting to go back to, you know, the normal uh, size round drills. So, 
Yes. I hope everybody is having a fabulous, fabulous day. And if you're new, I thank you for watching and hope you hit that like button and subscribe. And, you know, ring the bell so you know when I put up random stuff. Sometimes I put up random stuff. Um, and to, of course, all my Patreons, thank you for your continued love. Um, I am looking into, just so you guys know, I am looking into doing a YouTube membership option. Um, I hadn't done it before. I, I chose Patreon instead of that because YouTube takes, I think they take like 30% of your, anything you, you know, get from the channel, which is very high, very high. But it might be easier to do the YouTube membership for um, people that want a monthly, you know, option for WeWax. So uh, I am looking into that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. So yeah, but other than that, um, not much else is going on. I've got enough to keep me busy here with with Tweedledee and Tweedledum back here. So anyway, I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Stay safe, wash your hands, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep trying the uh, pretty placers. Uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a fabulous, fabulous day and I will see you again really soon. Bye guys.